can get people's attention like religion. So when we heard that a local billboard was going up in Grand Rapids saying, you don't need God, we knew we had a lead story tonight. Within an hour of posting something about it on our Fox 17 Facebook page, a record number of people, literally hundreds, responded. Well, tonight, Fox 17's Lauren Unger is downtown to get to the bottom of who's behind it and why. Lauren? Well, you know, Christian, this billboard went up this afternoon right here at the exit of Hall Street near 131. You can see, actually, it's so new that the lights aren't on it quite yet, but already less than 24 hours old. It has people talking. Driving down 131, you may see a new addition, a billboard telling people that living without religion is okay. We're good people. We contribute to society. Uh, all the bad things that you may have heard are not true. We hope and, and love and care for uh, others, our family. They're part of a national campaign by the Center for Inquiry, a nonprofit group that lets non-believers know they're not alone. So far, billboards have gone up in seven other cities across the country. We have had a lot of people that have come and found, said, I found you. I didn't even know you guys existed before today. Thank you. Um, keep up the good work. And I've had several people tell me that I'm going to hell. Meanwhile, local religious scholars say, although they don't agree with the message on the sign, it's a plus to have people talking about religion. I think dialogue is always a good thing. In that it, people can sit down face to face and truly understand each other better. And for many of the people we spoke with, the sign had them talking. I think everyone has the right to express their opinion, even if other people find it unpopular. And that everyone has the right to free speech. And the billboard, there shouldn't be a problem with it. Somewhat offensive, but people have, it's a free country, they have a right to express their their um, opinions. No, it wouldn't work for nobody here, not me. Now, the billboard's the only one of its type here in Michigan, but organizers say if they get more funding, they'll put more up. They also will be holding a series of lectures on the same topic throughout the month of September. That's in addition to this group's 300-plus activities every year for their more than 1,000 members. Live in Grand Rapids, Lauren Unger, Fox 17 News. Lauren, thanks for that tonight. When we asked people how they felt about it on Facebook, within an hour, as we said, we had hundreds of responses pour in. Many people said it didn't go out of its way insulting believers. Others have started talking about a boycott of the billboard company. To join in the discussion, find us on Facebook by searching Fox 17. Michigan State Police and